Minecraft Zombies in 2020. It has definitely been a long time since I've played a Minecraft Custom Zombies map. It's been too long. It must have been at least, honestly, at least six or seven months since I last played one of these maps. This one is one that I've never ever played before in a video, so I'm looking forward to this today, hoping that this is going to turn out and be very, very good. If you are new to my channel and you want to help me on the road to a million subscribers, which is the goal for the end of 2020, it's going to be very, very hard to reach, but it is something that I just, is a dream, isn't it? You have to have these things, you have to set goals, and it is a massive one, but a million subscribers by the end of 2020. If you want to be a part of it, make sure to subscribe and help us on that road. And also, if you want to drop a like on this video, the goal for this one is going to be 177 likes. Random as ever, but that's the way we love it. And, ooh, we have got an awesome weapon early here. This map has a ton of COD Online weapons that we're going to be using today. So this is kind of like the best of both worlds today. We're Not only are we going to be playing a Minecraft map, but we are also going to be playing with a bunch of weapons that you probably haven't seen in a game of custom zombies, certainly from myself, for honestly as long as I can remember. Like, it's kind of crossing two things over into one today. So going to be a lot of nostalgia out here for some of those um, viewers, some of you guys that come out to, you know, a lot of my streams and obviously watch a lot of my videos, you'll probably remember not only these Minecraft maps, but also these awesome COD Online weapons, which, man, it's been way too long. Just look at how good these things are. These, it's just amazing, honestly, absolutely amazing. So, we're going to be trying to complete this map today. There is a small Easter egg, and it leads to a Bible ending. Um, all I know so far about the Easter egg is that we need to knife diamonds, and then we, we I think we can like, unlock a well, or, or it's something along those lines, which will lead you to the area which has the Bible ending. So we're going to figure all that out. I'm going to go through here first of all. What's happening here? We have the RK5. Okay. And we're going to go through this one. I notice immediately there is a power symbol on the floor. Uh, we up here have got a pumpkin and not much else. So let's go ahead very, very quickly and clear this debris. And oh, this is really cool. So we've got kind of like the train lines down here for the carts. And I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to go down here very, very quickly. I don't want to get trapped down here. I don't think it's really too much of a risk right now. I feel like this weapon that I have is very, very strong. Uh, we have the VMP on the wall. Man, these zombies keep spawning right now on my feet. And there is power. Okay, power's on. Very nice. Good start early on today. Holy smoke. Okay, I am trying to keep it as PG as I can, but whoa. Okay, I think I've got to pat this, haven't I? <laughs> Oh my goodness. I can't believe the start. Wait, please don't troll on the- we got more points to that and I'm gonna take this. Wow. Okay, well, we always go for the titles on these videos, you know. I'm always calling it luckiest game ever and don't get me wrong, we've had a few lucky games in 2020. We've had a few, but that is a pretty awesome start, I can't deny. Three drops at once, all amazing things. Right, what else have we got going on here? We have got another debris for 500. This is almost like a bar type area. We have got Quick Revive, which is a massive, massive perk that I always go for in a game of zombies, especially in the solo games, which you guys obviously know that I mostly play solos. Uh, we've got another one here, 1250, with a mystery box. I'm not going to lie, the setup that I have right now is, is nearly good enough for the whole game. I can't believe how good of a start we've had out here. This is crazy. And we've got another debris here for 500. Let's have a little quickly, uh, let's have a little quick look up here. I'm gonna say let's quickly have a look up here. Stumbling over the words. What have we got going on up here? Oh, I think I see, I see a perk way, way, way out there. Can you, well, obviously you've got to be able to get to it, right? There's no other way up here. Double tap. Right, I think I'm just gonna wait right here and grab double tap. We've got an amazing early weapon. Um, let's just make this thing even more overpowered. The ammo is really good on here too. I, I have a feeling that it's going to be very hard for us to run out of ammo today. All right, Max Ammo, talking of ammo, is here. Look at that. Just 96, 96 over 1,023. <laughs> okay. I can't deny, I really do enjoy playing when we have these types of maps because... Look, I get it. You know, a lot of people that may watch some of the streams and videos where we have these sorts of weapons, you know, you may think, oh, why is it so overpowered? Why, you know, the weapons are a bit too much. But sometimes, you know, it's really nice to just have these really overpowered weapons. It's just a lot of fun. And I think that 
in zombies, especially in this day and age, for me personally, I'm always looking to have fun. And I think from the way this has started early, it's already made me feel like I'm, in, I'm just in a good mood right now. Like a really, really good mood. And I feel as if we are going to have a lot of fun in this one today. Let's just take a look at this gun. Ooh, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, right. I am, I guess, going to keep moving. There's definitely no other areas that I've missed here. I feel like we're moving around here very, very quickly right now. And we get another gun, which I'm not even sure what that one is. Do you know what? I might take this. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks really cool. Okay, that is pretty awesome. I'm guessing this is going to have switch. Wow, yep, switchable. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Yeah, these weapons are incredible. Right, we're going to go ahead and open up this debris. This is 500. Uh, another debris here for 1250. We have got gobble gums. I won't be taking gobble gums though. We have more doors. We have more just... Yeah, there's there's tons. There's tons of areas. It's a pretty good size map. We're going to be trying to find Speed Curler and Juggernog um, ASAP. We have got Napalms on this map as well. That's pretty crazy. Right, let's not go ahead and take that. We have got the points here. I'm going to open up that one. Speed Curler is right here. It's a thousand debris. We've got shops here. Okay, for a second, I thought there was going to be, like, shops that you could actually buy stuff from. There's Juggernaut, actually. I can't believe how good these guns are. We have another Pack-A-Punch! I am having the game of my life. I think it was three... Was it three or four weeks ago? It was three or four weeks ago that I had a game that we played. Uh, it's on my channel. It's called The Luckiest Ever Hallway Zombies Challenge. I started the game, I hit the mystery box, I think I got the Wonder Waff on the first hit. Then the second box hit, I got the Thunder Gun. Now don't get me wrong, we can't compare this game with that game because that game was by far the luckiest game you could ever have. But damn, this hasn't been bad. I think things could have gone a lot worse than they have gone. We've got another double points here as well. We are really, really, really flying through this right now. I'm going to go ahead and... Grab Juggernaut. It is actually points on the perk machines as well. I wasn't even aware. Yeah, this is really, really cool. But no, a question for everybody that's watching. Ah, finally, the luck betrays me. We lose a thousand points there. Man, that's my one of the things I hate the most about zombies. I hate those zombie caches because I always get so hyped. And it takes you from super hyped, super excited to... Oh, man. We just lost our points in the space of two seconds. It's like going from high to low. But no, getting back to what I was about to say before that happened. What other Zombies maps would you like me to play that reference other video games? Now, obviously, Minecraft is a massive video game. Now, you can obviously comment games that maybe don't currently exist as custom Zombies maps. I have been saying this in some of the recent videos I've been making. I am going to be looking to have some custom Zombies maps made. So, the ideas that you guys share, I would love to have made into custom Zombies maps because obviously it represents what you all want and you guys are the people that support everything that I do. So, I really do want to make some maps that kind of tie into what you guys want. So, feel free to drop uh, your ideas into the comments. We did do this in the previous video that I made and I have gone through a lot of your comments. There will be some ideas from that video that are used, but it's the same with this one as well. Throw them down and in the future future you may see the map that you suggested made into a custom zombies map and the person that says it your name will also be mentioned in the map whether it be a weapon whether it be on a wall some form of recognition will be given to those that come up with the ideas for future custom zombies maps in the maps that we play so that'd be pretty cool four thousand points go ahead straight on the speed cola we're very very good right now okay Oh, there we go. We've got stamina up over here. We'll find out in a second if there is a perk limit. I'm going to go for that. That'll be really good. Uh, we've got a... Nah, I'm not going to take that. We've got another napalm, though. Oh, the napalms give you a thousand points as well. We have a death machine. Right, hold on. Please don't have a perk limit. Hell yes, we're good. Alright, we've got that. I'm very low on ammo right now. I actually do really need the death machine. Hopefully we can clutch this up. We have another gun right here. Man, this map has been generous. And just like that, I'm going to very quickly grab that one. That is round over. Let's go ahead and open this one up. We've got Deadshot Daiquiri. We have... Ooh, we've got a... 
Is this an area above where I just was or no, this is a completely different area. Oh, okay. So this is the one that was through here. We're going to budget our ammo right now. Like you budget when you go to Audi or Lidl. All right. If you live in the UK, you will know exactly what those places are. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We get the pack. Oh man, no. All right. That may be, maybe we shouldn't be going for this. Maybe we should just hit the box and then pack another gun right now. It seems like it makes sense. Okay, do you know what? I don't mind this and I will happily pack this, but I got a feeling just looking at that box and how great it looks. I'm packing this. This thing's an absolute machine. The Savage. Let's go. And let's just take a little look at this weapon as well. Oh, you can't, you can't inspect it. So with a lot of these guns, you can inspect them. This one doesn't let you inspect it. Man, are you kidding me right now? We are getting so many good drops. Double points. Oh, this is- oh, oh my- okay, this is a debris. I was thinking there was gonna be some more- there's the max ammo. Right, I'm gonna have to have a look- this looks like an area right here that leads, like, somewhere. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this, grab this, have a little look down here. So, what does this say? Ooh. Uh, let's do some mining. Knife the side of the block. You can go left or right. One will lead to lava, the other to pack a punch. Oh my god, now I feel like I'm properly on Minecraft. I see a diamond. Okay, hold on. I, I don't think this is safe right now. Let's come back here at the end of the round. Let's continue on here. So, we... Oh, there's pac -Man. Oh, okay. There's diamonds as well. Let me clear all of this. Man, I properly feel like I'm on Minecraft right now. Damn, zombie, please. This is why I so badly just wanted to get a crawler. But obviously, this guy isn't having any of that. He's really, really fast as well. All right, so I see three diamonds already. And this zombie. Oh, I might have to end this. I can't deal with this guy. He's so fast as well. There's the lava. Right. I think the guns that I have here are going to be good enough to get me through this right now. I have another gun that's sitting up there. We've got an infinite ammo as well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and actually knife these. All right, three of them are knifed. There we go. All six of them have been knifed. Okay, so I've done some research because I wasn't sure what is happening right here. And it turns out that apparently you need to do something with this well. <laughs> and that is it. Okay, there we go. So, end game is 50,000. Jump in the water to be free. Is this a safe zone or... I think this is actually a safe zone right here. Okay, cool. So I'm guessing then we jump and then we go back. Right. Okay. I follow this now. So there we go. We need to get 50,000 points here and we can complete the map. So it was as simple as that. You just had to go into the well. So while I was trying to jump into the lava, I was just going slightly to the wrong place. I can see the wishing well though. How, you know, this is uh this is a thing. This is a really cool map. Honestly, I've been really impressed by what I've seen. I'm just shocked at the fact that I never have played this map before. You know, this is um this has actually been around for a while, this this Minecraft map. This isn't like a brand new Minecraft map. It feels like it's brand new, because to me this is new, you know, I've never played it, but I believe this has actually been out for a few years on the, the workshop, so. Oh, the big debate. Do I hit the box or not? Do you know what? I'm gonna take one hit. I'm just gonna see what happens. I got a good feeling we're getting something big right now. <laughs> I was definitely right. I'm gonna go with it. I know that the other gun has been amazing, but. You can't be a classic Wonder Wolf, especially, especially in the situation that we're in right now where we just need to survive and just build points. This gun is going to be very, very good for all of these things. So, Wonder Wolf it is. We're going to use this and then we're going to also use this. And I believe we'll be able to get to the finish line with these weapons right here. No problem. We're very, very close. Man, if I can say anything about this map that would have been cool, it's just maybe to be able to use these shops. Would have been really cool if, say, the shops had... Even like mini games, you know, maybe like a shooting range 
I, I remember that from, uh, so there's been a few maps that actually had a shooting range. One of the ones we played recently in a video called Ujat, that had a shooting range, but with Pack-A-Punch machines. And then also we had the Evil Christmas map, uh, and that had a shooting range just through like a shop. That would have been pretty cool if they'd had some mini games, like maybe the walls here would open and I don't know, some, some form of like mini game you could play. But other than that, this map's been really, really fun. This is definitely... You know, a really, really good Minecraft map. It's got a really cool vibe to it as well. It feels very Minecraft-like. You know, at times I was almost convinced I was playing Minecraft today. Right, only one bad thing about the Wonder Wolf, and that is we cannot get max ammos when we use this thing. But as I say, oh my god. We've just got the most overpowered gun there is. This gun right here, do you know what? I'm going to keep this Wonder Wolf. I'm going to trade this thing out for it. This thing is what you call OP. This is the most overpowered weapon, maybe in Zombies history. Let me explain this very quickly. First of all, this is non-pack-a-punch right now. When you pack-a-punch this gun, not only does it get over 200 bullets, it remains an insta-kill if you hit any zombies with it for the entire game. It also has, obviously... The ability, with we've, we've always known this, with Sick of Fire, to stop the zombies, to make them fall over, to slide. And it can also chain kill zombies as well. So if I was down here, and I was to fire it here, a lot of them are going to get stuck and it's going to do insane work. Which not only means that you, do you know what, just let's pack the thing. Pack the weapon. I'm talking it up. It's so good. Let's just do it right now. Look at it. 200. We got three points there as well. Now I'm pretty confident we're getting this 50,000 point ending. As I say that, we get rocked. Oh my god. Double points. Wow, now I see why they're spawning behind me. I, was, I wasn't even aware they were. Man, I am the king of saying that. I'm always like, we got this in the bag now, guys. It's it. This is ours. This is ours. And then I get flashed and suddenly the game rolls before me. Not this time. Overconfident. It's not a good thing. The amount of times that I've been jinxed by that type of thing is ridiculous, man. We weather it, though. We are alive. We. I definitely want to just get this points and beat this right now. I'm, I'm worried, man. The pressure's on. You guys come to see a flawless win today, especially after all of this talk. we got to deliver that. And when you get moments like that where your life flashes before your eyes... Yeah, I start to really, really, really just want to get it over and done with, you know? <laughs> what are we at? 43, nearly 44,000 points here. Yeah, the only thing that... Okay, I'm not playing about right now. I'm really not playing about right now. The only thing I was going to say that I don't have is Widow's Wine. If this map had had that as well, that would have been absolutely insane. We're at 46.7 right now. Not a care in the world for ammo. I love it. Man, I can't even see these things right now. I'm just blasting. We got it. We go, 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 go. And I am running in circles. And I'm running here. And I'm ending the game. Thanks for playing. You have escaped. 22 rounds. Flawless completion. I can relax right now. We got it. 703 kills overall that was as well. Awesome map. Really, really enjoyed it. Guys, there is a link in the description to this map. So if you do want to download and play this for yourselves, if you do play custom zombies, you can do so. Once again, a huge, huge shout out to every single one of you for tuning in and supporting this video. Thank you for obviously taking the time out of your day to just support my content. Um, it really, really means a lot. And on saying all of that, I will see you guys in my next video.